Vaping versus smoking. Both activities extremely similar to the naked eye, yet in reality, these lung destroying practices are quite different. The same way smoking za used to be a very niche thing, mostly done by hippies in the 1960s to 1970s, so was vaping in the 2000s to early 2010s. Yet both smoking and vaping slowly but surely took over the world, to where nowadays you'll be walking down the street and see a dude puffing on a strawberry ice guacamole stick on one side and on the other see a bunch of college kids sitting on a bench eye squinting like they got hit with a flashbang holding the Teenage Mutant Ninja card screaming Blinker! And although a lot of times a vapor can also be a smoker and the other way around, I'm here to try and figure out which one of these practices is definitively superior to the other. So you can once and for all say to the opposing faction, at least I don't vape or at least I don't smoke. So let's get started with the first category and that is the effect. This is probably the most important category because if you're going to damage your lungs and throat by inhaling a foreign substance, it better be at least a fun time. Which I think we can all agree, this is where smoking and vaping are completely different. With vaping, the high you get, if you can even call it that, is a buzz in your body, lightheadedness, bit of an increase to your social battery, and of course a small dopamine boost. But here's the kicker, you only feel this effect like the first couple times you do it, and later mostly only in the morning on your first puffs. So the action of vaping just kinda becomes a mindless habit where you're doing it not for the effect but just because your body is telling you, hey it's been like 30 minutes, you, you should really go and rip that 99 Nick strawberry mango punch. Whereas the high you get from the grass is actually what you're inhaling it for, and although the effects vary from person to person, they usually consist of Better mood, increased appetite aka the munchies, laughter, the increased significance of your thoughts, creativity, laziness, sleepiness, etc. But also, these effects are felt for much longer, of about 2 to 4 hours, compared to vaping which is literally like 10 seconds. So if you look at it straight up, then smoking absolutely takes this category with ease. But then again, for people who are prone to getting paranoid and need everything planned out, the high from the za isn't guaranteed to be enjoyable. Cause I mean, you can just green the fuck out. Whereas with vaping, you can't really get a bad trip, cause I mean, there is no trip. You're just sitting puffing on your mango stick doing whatever you're doing. But all in all, I'ma still go with the Zahn this one. So, 1 to 0, smoking. Now let's look at the cost. Whether you wanna inhale Chinese sweatshop chemicals that taste like strawberries or the devil's lettuce, it's gonna cost you. But the question is, which one is more expensive at every level of consumption? Well, let's look at it. Level 1 for vapors would be you just buy a dispo every week or so, which comes out to about $20 to $40 a month. And level 1 for smokers, I'd say it's about the same, if you just blaze up on the weekends. So far, they're tied on cost, but now if you move up to level 2, which I think for vaping, it now indicates you're addicted and spending anywhere between $80 to $100 on dispos a month. For the za, level 2 would be smoking up once or twice every night at the end of your day, which although you're technically smoking every day, I don't think you'll be spending more than $100 a month. Especially if you have a device that doesn't even require a lot of but to get you absolutely blasted. Something like the Glebe, which the Glebe is a one of a kind portable discrete gravity BONG that is currently having its biggest sale of the year for Black Friday week. And if you've ever hit a grav before, you know them things will get you completely zoinked from way less saw than a normal bonk. But if you do pack a full hit, well dog, you better be prepared, cause this thing will absolutely make you rethink what being high even is. Just click the link in the pinned comment or description and use my code CBD bro to get a limited 20% off on the ultimate on the go Zaza machine. So looks like smoking is edging it out. Well that's until the next level where most vapors probably buy themselves a box mod which is the equivalent of buying a car instead of taking a taxi everywhere. And on the other end here's where smoking za can get a bit more expensive. At level 3 you blaze in 24 7 and you're hot not just at the night time when you're done with your day, but also when you're going through your day. And because of that, your tolerance has gone up a lot, to the point you having to spend over $200 a month just to continue your za smoking, which don't let it get that far. 
please, it's really not worth it. And at level 3 vaping, because you can just get a box mod eco nick machine, your cost ain't really go up that much, she might have even gone down. So basically, at the higher echelon of being a nick fiend, it's much cheaper than being a 24-7 high stoner, which would mean vaping wins, right? Well, technically, yeah, but to be honest, is it really a good thing you can puff on your lung cancer strawberry ice machine for so cheap? I don't think so, and honestly, I'm kinda happy about how if you smoke up 24-7, your tolerance will evolve to a point you have to drop a bag every month just to keep up with your dependency. That being said, I'ma have to leave it at a tie here. 2 one smoking grass. Now it's time for... Addictiveness. I think this one's a no-brainer. Nicotine is obviously more addictive, right? Well, yeah, but there are some more aspects to this comparison, like the fact even if you're completely addicted to Nick, you can go about your everyday life just the same, cause it doesn't make you slower mentally, nor lazy, nor paranoid. It's just slowly but surely giving you lung cancer. But with Za, if you really start abusing that shit, it'll affect your everyday life, cause it can lower motivation, make you less driven, slower mentally, and hazy. But all of that is only if you let yourself get that far, which is much harder than and with Nick. Cause the ZA is just less addictive than the mango stick, meaning with vaping it can literally take just one puff to get you hooked, but with the ZA it's more like an experience. So although you might have a great time your first high, you won't be in the school bathrooms the next day like, yo, you think you can give me a couple puffs off that? <laughs> Haven't did anything in hours. <sighs> really? Give me that! Okay, it's not that bad, but be very. Nicotine fiends, they'll do anything for a puff off that elf bar. For real. Anyway, this point goes to the grass yet again, cause of its much less addictive nature. Free one, smoking. But maybe this next category will ignite a comeback for vaping. Availability. Nick sticks are sold everywhere, from gas stations to smoke shops to shit, some grocery stores. And on the other hand, the Zaza, if you're in the United States, where let's be honest, you probably are, you can get them at dispensaries or your local Pablo Escobar, the plug. Which unfortunately, dispensaries are more of a luxury that only legal state citizens in the US are afforded. And for the rest of us, we have to deal with the lawless, sometimes sleazy creatures called plugs. I mean, for real, why the fuck do I, a law abiding citizen, have to deal with criminals on a weekly basis just because I wanna relax and eat some double stuffed Oreos on a Friday night? But if I wanna get shit faced drunk and go outside with the homies committing three counts of disrupting the peace, four counts of destruction of public property, and 58 counts of. Yo, what's that guy looking at? He got a problem? Then that's. Totally fine. So I think we can all agree vaping takes this one. Free too. Now time for a category which will either tie it up or secure the major Tate W for smoking. And that is the community. Vape Nation versus <laughs> yeah man. Or at least that's the stereotype. In reality, it ain't really like that. Although from my experience, vapors are more extroverted because they're always vaping in a circle in the damn bathroom chit-chatting about their flavors. And smokers are more introverted and chill, who would rather sit down and play some mod in Minecraft with the homies than go to the club. Oh, and if you're looking for a place where you can find more people like that, then why not join the CBD Bro Discord? We also just hit 5k members, so join the revolution. The weed revolution. Anyway, this could be biased because I'm a smoker myself, but I personally think the Zaza community is better than the vaping. Although I really don't like grass NPCs who make the Za their whole personality, these dudes are pretty easily spotted and avoidable. But I mean, Vapor's got the same thing. Imagine standing in a circle, everybody puffing on their dispo, and then some dude pulls out the Vaporizer Ultra 3000i Max, fully equipped with 8 flavors, a touchscreen, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth capability. I think the exact same thing that I do with grass NPCs. That's a bit too much, man. Anyway, 4-2. Smoking wins. But hey, that might just be my CBD bro's opinion. So comment down which of these health deteriorating activities you prefer. And see ya in the next one.